Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Space Age, the Factorio DLC. You know, the engineer needs a revamp. That's... what is this game? I'm disappointed with my purchase. I want a refund. Nope, just kidding. This game's great. And what we're going to start with in this episode is probably tearing down our old mall, because we don't need it anymore. Our new furnace stacks and mall are running nicely. So we'll get rid of this old stuff. Ah, oh, this old thing? And I did add a little bit more power to our base. Uh-oh, that's probably not good. Got to keep things connected here. So now we have how many stacks? Now I have three sets of four. But yeah, what I want to do here is we'll get red science automated and green science automated next in this episode so we can get a little further in the tech tree. And then I will probably from there, I don't even know what we'll do at that point. Hey, Mint L. Uh, seen anything new and exciting yet? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy, but we've been enjoying some of the new quality of life features as well as... I guess the Factoriopedia is pretty sweet. We just don't really need it yet because the, the stuff that we're dealing with is pretty simple. But for new players, this will be very helpful. And then there's the tips and tricks, which are also very helpful for new players. And they will be very helpful for all the new stuff once we get to it. Um, okay, so what was I just talking about? I literally just lost my train of thought. Speaking of trains, <laughs> um, I wanted to get more something. I don't need 78 assemblers. Mm. Oh man, our iron is hurting. I need more iron. I know I was just talking about science, but I was going to do something before that, and I already forgot what it was. This is problematic. Yeah, yeah, I know I was just talking about automating red and green. Maybe it was this. Maybe this is what I was going to do. Was get the rest of my iron patch going. And that should be good for coverage here. No, oh, don't do that. And then I know that's not perfectly balanced, but that should be okay. with the conblim bricks here. And how many do you need for a full belt? You need 30, I think. And we have 46. So this should be good for a while. Uh, how long will it take to a rocket, do I think? Not sure. Um... We're at what? We're at about three hours, a little under three hours right now. And we're still pretty far away. I'm not rushing to it, so it might, it might take me a little while. There's also a little bit of flexibility from what I've heard in terms of when you actually start going to space. So there might be a point at which I could go, but I still want to do other things first. Wow, that one already finished. This already finished mining the iron we had right there. That must have been a tiny amount. That's funny. Um... Okay, so what I want to do is actually expand my, my smelter here so we can get the full amount. Before we do that, though, I'm going to get a little bit more coal mining going just to make sure we have enough. Um, and rocket today, or, uh, that's a good question. As far as how long it'll take us, I don't know, but today we're going to get 12 hours in. Will we have a rocket by 12 hours? Hmm... That is indeed a question. Probably not, that's my guess. But, maybe. I, I'm not good at estimating vanilla times. But knowing that my approach is gonna be to take it slow, there's a good chance we're not there yet. Devs need to add spoiler-free mode for Factoriopedia. Um, 
I don't know about spoiler free. I did like the idea that someone else said where it doesn't show stuff that's not unlocked yet. That feels like it should be a setting. Because this actually feels really overwhelming for a new player, and I think restricting it to only stuff you have unlocked could be really helpful. Um, as far as spoiler free, that that's a little trickier, but just being able to turn off stuff you haven't researched, I think ac accomplishes what you're saying and uh, helps out a lot. Uh, put it in feedback. Oh, good point. Good point. Feedback time. All right, I'll, I'll uh, let's see, I'll make this short. Factory, oh, I should have the thing open when I hit it. Add setting to hide, hide, not high, unresearched in Factoriopedia. I think this, I think this is extremely over, overwhelming for new players to see all this. It would be nice if we had an option to Hide unresearched in Factoriopedia. This will also be particularly useful for mods. All right. Boom. All right, so uh, this is where I miss having the, uh, the mod, what's it called? Um, the one that places things for me, Picker, Picker Extended. Was very nice. Where you just mouse over the ghosts and it would place it automatically. It was nice. Alright, and the problem here is I actually don't have the blue inserters that we need. Are there new achievements? Yes. I'm not an achievement hunter. Um, it, I think I'm in the minority. It seems a lot of people like and or care a lot about achievements, but I am not. In the, I never even finished all the achievements in vanilla, nor did I really care to. I, like, for me, achievements are fun. Maybe, maybe I'm like, I don't know, again, maybe I'm weird, but when I'm playing a game, I like when an achievement pops up. It's fun to see that the devs thought of the thing I just did, and they thought of it as something that's worth celebrating, and they gave it an icon and a name, and that's about it. I don't really care past that. Every once in a while, I'll play a game that I want to 100%, but that's extremely rare, and it's usually only if it feels like the achievements are also like connected to a core part of the game itself rather than like stretch goals when achievements feel like stretch goals i usually don't go for them but if they're like oh like beating the game completely and unlocking everything will get you all the achievements then sometimes i'm more interested in doing that um i'm literally just gonna feed this with my items because i need more inserters and right now the iron is not going there first it's going to make pipes and bullets first, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Dave. I think for like a roguelike type of game, the, the achievements feel more like a core part of the experience, like they are the progression in some senses. But for a game like Skyrim or Factorio, yeah, it's like the gameplay for me is what I care. The fact that there are achievements is kind of more just this like side thing that I don't care about. Which again, I know a lot of people care a lot and there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I feel in the mi minority because people are like, at least on the, on the Discord and stuff for Factorio, people talk about achievements a lot and I'm like, I, am I weird? Am I the weird guy? I just don't care.
Okay, so there's all the inputs and the outputs. Oh, we're actually basically there. Is that it? Did we do it? I think we did it. What did it cost? Everything. But thankfully, I have a lot more on the way. A million more units on the way. So in a minute here, we should see a fully compressed belt. With any amount of luck. Now, it's very possible I missed something. So this is where I like to do a decon planner on ghosties. And then we see, did I miss anything? And I did not. Yeah, exactly, TNT. Like, for me, I care much more about just enjoying the playthrough, play the mods I want, and then mods disable achievements, so I guess I'm not getting the achievements. At some point, I might... There was a little part of me that almost wanted to do a vanilla run to get 100% of the achievements, um, but I went with Death World instead because I figured I didn't actually have enough time to do, like, the crazy big circuit ones. Um, and... Yeah, as far as achievements giving a new experience, I I like that. I just am not the one that's going to go hunt and do the crazy thing that the achievement's asking me to do. So I end up usually not getting all the achievements. But can we just appreciate this, this fully saturated iron belt? Just look at how beautiful it is. And then, can we also appreciate what it's going to look like when those, those iron plates are stacked four iron plates high? Now that's going to be a sight. A sight to behold. We're still a ways away from that, though. But we've got a full belt of iron, and boy, does that feel good. So this mall should fill up in no time. Which is beautiful. Yeah, now we're even getting iron all the way to here. So that's great. And now we can work on science. So... I think for my science build... Uh, how's pollution, by the way? We are, are going to get attacked, actually. Um, now, I could... Here, here's here's me being a... You know, I do it for the content, right? Um, here's me being a content creator. I could go and just take out the nests. If I was playing by myself, I probably would. But I think it's more fun to get attacked by biters, so I'm going to leave the nest there. And we'll, we'll handle it. We'll handle it like adults with guns and violence. How's that? How did I place the blue inserters without replacing long inserters? Um, yeah, they actually don't build over each other, as, as Aloy said. So that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing. In this case, it was a good thing because it made it easier to build. Hey, Howler. Yeah, we can we can make with a wall. That does mean we'll have to position it somewhere that I am not planning on building anything anytime soon. So it will probably be more out of the way. But we can certainly do that. All right. I think a second turret to defend that area. And then one more for the coal patch. We already have one for the coal patch. We have one on the south side, but then the north side might be under threat too. Put one up there, throw 20 bullets in it. The biter attacks will be very small when they attack. I also just realized half of our copper mining is unpowered and I don't have anywhere near enough. So let's, let's fix this. That was a little underdone. I think that's enough. 14, 7 per second. Yeah, I certainly am not using that much copper yet. And now let's go work on our red and green together science. Oh, I was going to automate labs. That's what I was going to do. And maybe these guys, but I don't have stone yet. I don't think I need to automate steam power. Labs feel worth it, though. Labs feel worth it. Okay, so... Oh, they need transport belts. I kind of forgot about that. Um, 
You know, that's okay. We can just put the transport belts next to it. Like so. And then that does that. I'm out of blue guys already. I think that does it. Yep. Labs. Boom. Okay. So, where am I going to put the labs? That's what I was thinking about before I realized we were going to get attacked. So, the labs... We're going to want to bring all the science to them. I'm thinking rather than over there, we'll do a vertical extension over here. Because our bus is going to be there. So, above the Zekola, I think is a good spot for labs. And then... I think that plays out pretty nice. Because, yeah, this will be bus bus in it. And I'll probably switch to multiple belts of each plate at some point. Though with stacking, I I'm guessing we won't need quite as much as we used to. And then we'll bring science over here. And we'll have eventually more than two belts, but... I'll start with a lab build that's only prepared for four types of science. What do I think of the cliffs? I haven't even seen a cliff. Um, I don't know how most of the map seeds are, but I th do they reject cliffs in your starting area now? Or did I just get weirdly lucky to not get any cliffs in my starting area? It seems they might... I'm actually curious. Uh, let's find out real quick. Uh, so if I were to exit and start a new game, uh, and we were to preview, it looks like there are no cliffs in your starting area now. Yeah. Because, like, this map has a decent amount of cliffs, but there's none in that starting area. So... That seems nice. I like that change. Okay. Anyway, back to the game. So, science. I did tear down the old mall. We did get that done. So red science is super easy. And I like to do five because that's the number this isn't technically... Oh, someone was asking also about rate calculator. If you look on the right side of the screen, you can see um, in the tooltip now, it does tell us the rates, which is really cool. I wouldn't say rate calculator is built in because you can't select multiple buildings and there's other things that this might not tell you, but it does at least give you the per second in and out of a building, which is a pretty huge deal, especially with productivity factored in there and everything. I think it's really helpful. Um... So yeah, we're only going to need one gear maker for this. Time for real life. Have fun. All right. See you later. Enjoy real life as much as one can. So, I mean, is this really... Two, three. Still in a space of 12 before the first buildings. Um, that just gives me room to do spaghetti later. Call it spaghetti room. And then I think one of these fast enough. Yes, yes it is. So then do this. And that'll give me both plates. And then the iron will go over here. Please tell me it's on the right side. No, it's on the wrong side. Uh, so I need to switch sides here. Actually, this is cleaner anyway. Yeah. 
And then we'll just be able to place the gears like where the iron was. So that works out really nice. Do I know about the science assembler's golden ratio in Factorio? Uh, I certainly don't. Is it just like the how many you need for one per second ends up being the golden ratio or something? But it goes from five to six. Five to six is not the golden ratio. For at least red to green. All right, and then green will come in at some point here. And a fast inserter should be good. Oh, it's a it's a it's a new ratio. I see. Well, that's not 5 6 12 7 7 is not a ratio. <laughs> That's just a pa that's a not even I almost said that's a pattern. That's not even a pattern. That's just numbers. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I I did a dummy. That's what I did. <gasps> our new our new tool tips. Is there more blood? This feels far more bloody than I remember the game being. Um yeah, you can have a ratio. You're right. You can have a ratio. So technically it's a ratio, but it's not a pattern of any sort. And it certainly is not a nice ratio. Um, but you, you're right. It can be. The ratio of how many you need is always going to be the same regardless of how much you scale it up. So that, that is a ratio. You're right. Um, anyway, I probably need a second turret up there if it's going to get damaged every time they attack. So let me grab a few more bullets here. And just a few more turrets. But yeah, that new uh, that new tooltip display thing was really interesting. Or not tooltip, but alert. The alert display. I'm sure we'll see a lot more alerts throughout our time in Space Age. How's power while I'm here? Do we need to improve it? Maybe, once we start doing research and stuff. And do two more. More sets pretty easy here. I also need more power poles. Almost out of those. Oh, look at that. Speak o' the devil. Speak o' the devil biters. Three should be plenty. We'll make a few repair packs just to have on hand. Haven't researched walls yet, have I? Oh, I did, I did. Okay. We'll at least give the turrets walls. That should fix things up pretty nicely for a long time. Put a light up here. How's our pollution cloud doing? It's growing. We're gonna start hitting one, two, three, four more bases, five more bases. Just with it, it when it goes a couple more chunks in every direction, that'll be hitting like six different bases. So. Yeah, that'll be interesting. We'll have to maybe go out and murderize a few. Colonize. Um, someone had asked me earlier about something that I already wanted to answer, but I forgot what it was now. Um, what was someone asking? I can't remember now. It's gone. What will an average run take? Yeah, they said, I think 60 is going to be pretty short. I feel like you'd have to rush pretty hard to get 60, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, labs only stacked to 10. I thought they stacked to 50. Oops. 
Oh, I need more pulls. That's one thing I was thinking. Still don't remember what I was going to say, though. It's gone forever. Yeah, and of course, the average run for a first-time player is going to be different than an experienced Factorio player, so those probably should be in their own categories. Um, let's do a build that kind of just gets us ready for everything here. How many is that? That's 10, so I want one more to get the nice 12. Manually build everything. We are the construction bot. For now. Until stack inserters riff? Uh, that's actually a good question. When do you get stacking? Uh, stack inserters are a long time away. Looks like Gleba. Oh, Gleba. There you go. There's a reason to go to Gleba. I didn't realize stacking was from Gleba. If you drag power poles on a blueprint, it'll do the right thing. That's good to know. Like, it'll just do the blueprinted thing, not what you... Not what it would need to do to power up those things. Because if it does its own thing, separate from what you've told the blueprint to do, then that would be the wrong thing in my mind. Destroyed! Oh, damn. You guys took a different angle than I anticipated. Where did that even come from? What the heck? There's no bases up there that are getting polluted. That one maybe came all the way around? Interesting. Spoil is the word you're looking for. <laughs> um, the pop-up said the decay time is one hour. Yeah, well, you gotta remember, you're... It's not going to start at 100% because you're making the pack produced out of things that are already spoiled a bit. And on top of that, you then need to put it on a space station to get it home. And so that's going to add up. You think it's these biters? I assume they would have attacked down here, but maybe you're right. Maybe they came up and around. But yeah, see, these dudes are doing what I thought they'd do. I think the biters have new graphics. I mean, I was just playing Death World. And this does not... They, the small biters looked different. There's more blood and giblets and little insect parts flying around. So I, th I think they redid the graphics on biters. I could be wrong about that, but it, it feels like that to me. Um, it, it doesn't feel the same. So if we're going off feel, I say it's it's different. Anyway, we need some lamps here. So let's do every other one of these. Make space for a lamp. And then green signs. All right, let's get it going. So I'll leave some space between the builds. Do green. And then, don't worry, Howler, we will get your name in walls. I'm thinking I might do it next to the science, because that won't be a space that I use for a long time. All right, so do this, just the basics. And then put up a buffer here. 
do I want to limit the buffer? Still stacks to 200. 2000 is a lot of science. I'll let red and green buffer to 4000. The other ones I might stop at 2000. I think it depends on how many resources I feel like I can afford. Okay, so then these guys are going to need a total of 0.5 belts and 0.5 um, inserters. Which is pretty, pretty simple. So we're just going to need some gears and some circuits for you. Gears can be shared. I think it's something like this. At least I think the gears can be shared. Because, yeah, we only need a fourth of a gear per second for the belts, and we need half of a gear per second. So I need 0.75 gears per second, which this can actually handle. Because we only need half of that rate and a fourth of that rate. So that should be okay. Um, do something like this, and then these guys feed out, and then that just needs a simple tiny amount of green circuits. And then iron and copper can be on here. That should do it. that and then copper comes up and around okay cool did we do it? Nope. Need that. Now maybe we did it. I see belts. And I see inserters. Beautiful. Bring that up. I believe we did it. Wham bam. That is now 0.5 science per second. And obviously, that will upgrade as we upgrade our assemblers. So, even though it's only half of a science per second right now, it will soon be 0.75 science per second once we get blue assemblers, which is very soon. And then after that, we can do modules and beacons and all sorts of other stuff. I did conveniently, not on purpose, leave room for beacons here, so that's nice. I should maybe try to remember that and do the same thing in other spots. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, let's work on stone. We're bringing stone over here. I'm going to leave room for um, two of each for the bus. And then stone and coal will maybe get their own is that right? Or do I want coal to get its own and then stone to get its own? Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. So then I need to bring stone over here. Unfortunately, this is a very tall... I guess... Would we rather go over or under? Probably over. In that case, let's actually prioritize... we get rid of this part of the iron patch sooner. 
Yeah, I'll bring stone from over here. on the patch. That's interesting. You can't replace an underground with a wrongly direction belt? That's new, right? I think that's different. Uh, I could be wrong, but that feels different. Maybe it's just because the square looks different, but... Yes, there is super force now, but without using that... But yeah, super force, control shift. Oh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It gets it all right. It gets it all right. That was our first super force build. We did it. All right, so stone is over here now. Oh, I'm out of belts. Why don't we, why don't we go shopping here for everything we want because now it's all built up. Um, I think 100 on the inserters is enough. 150 for those guys. 13 gun turrets is plenty. A few hundred more ammo. Apophenia, how's it going? Thank you so much for the 28 months. Welcome back. We are doing well. We're, we got them all nice and, nice and pretty looking for once. Yeah, why don't I add the other half of the labs? That's one thing I didn't do yet. Okay. So... I will have to do the inverse of what I did before. I'm so excited for medium power poles. Oh my goodness. Okay. There we go. What should we what should we research with our first green science? Uh steel axe. Oh wait, no. Oh, we have- whoa, that's right. So we craft 50 steel and we just get steel axe for free. Maybe we go for medium pulls? I was just talking about those. Let's do that first. Now here's an interesting note. It looks like it's using the last 10 minutes as an average. Which is unfortunate because basically that estimate then is only going to be helpful for really long researches. In most cases, researches won't even take 10 minutes for like a long portion of the game. Hey, yeah, Waskily, no problem. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Brony, yeah, we're still a ways away from a space platform for sure. And obviously, like, you want it to average a decent amount of time, so I don't mind it averaging 10 minutes. I think, though, if science is at zero for a long time, it shouldn't count that into the average, if that makes sense. Well, 
No, maybe it's only... Maybe it is doing it right now. Yeah, no, it actually does seem like it did that right. So maybe it's only the first minute. Maybe it only needs one minute to average properly. Because I think that is now a correct time estimate. Interesting. Um, and 48 science per minute is correct because each lab is consuming a pack every 30 seconds. And we have 24 labs, so they're each consuming two packs per minute. So 48 per minute is what we're getting. Okay. So that's fine then. That's cool. I like that. Um, anyway, what was I going to do? Stone to get furnaces to make walls and things. Oh, I was also considering automating boilers at some point. Um, do I still want to do that? Maybe. I didn't leave room for red belts over here. I completely forgot about red belts. I When I built this, I was thinking, oh yeah, and then I'll put the red ones down here. And then I ended up putting a bunch of stuff there instead. Nice work, Crydax. Nice work. Could be problematic. Just have to make red belts somewhere else. That's fine. They take up so much more iron anyway. Um... Ooh. Research with logistics. Here we go. I don't like that you have to click twice when there's only one alert. <sighs> Again? Came from a different angle. Um, if there's only one alert, I wish it would take you straight to... I'm going to F10 that, actually. Though, should I really feedback this? Because then the problem... Well, I'll just feedback it. They can do whatever they want with my feedback. I'm here to give feedback, not to design the game perfectly for them. Um, because the problem with that might be because then you can't pin it. But most of the time in the early game, the alerts you're getting are them damaging or killing your factory. So you, you couldn't really pin it anyway. Or you wouldn't want to. Because if you pin that... Oh, well, that's interesting. It shows up here, too. Huh. Because, like, it is nice to be able to pin it, but it's also annoying to have to click multiple times just to go to that one spot. So... A little bit of a not sure what's the best solution there. It came from behind. Uh, we're missing a belt there. Yeah, the Warcraft 3 gyrocopters is what we're referencing there. Good reference. Solid. Uh, where do I put the turrets, though? Maybe I'll just put them in the build. Or maybe, maybe it's time for a little bit of turret creep here. Because these guys are going to keep sending enemies. Definitely need ammo on the hotbar here. Get out of here. This is my land. I crashed on this planet. Oh, I just got an achievement and then I hit map view and it went away. Ooh, there's a new death. Oh, I literally ran out of bullets right there when I needed five more. 
Uh, there's a new corpse view too. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's like a popped balloon. It's disgusting and amazing. I love it. And the worms look different. Yeah, there, there's definitely new graphics on those enemies. Yes, hotkeys and fish. I, I figured that was an easy enough one. I didn't have to try hard. Um, so I didn't. Speaking of fish, they're about to spoil. Okay, so they won't bother me anymore. The guys up there are going to keep attacking once in a while. And then the, there's ones, new ones, that will start attacking soon. Though that's only one nest. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Alright, what are we doing now? Medium poles. I'm gonna need to do steel. Um... Mod to use the spawner corpse as a hot tub. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awful. Uh, do I? I'm I'm trying to decide right now if I want to automate these. Here's here's a good thing to figure out. Are they ever? No, they're not. They're not used. Oh, aha! The heating tower. So we do use the boilers eventually, but that's so far from now. I will have logistic spots by then. So. I don't think I'll automate those. Steam power is small enough that just handcrafting 5 or 10 is pretty fast. But at the same time, is it going to hurt me? Is it going to hurt me to automate these things? No. So let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I do need stone furnaces, though. So that is... Thing. And these both need pipes. Mm. It's just got more complicated. Okay. Stone furnace. That thing. Pipe. The other one. Like this. Okay. Boom. 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 Stone needs to get to here. So we're going to have to go through the middle of everything. Got to expand our defenses a little bit here. And then bring that over. from here we need gears for you we need pipes and that thing uh, we need a splitter for our stone hmm I might need to go deal with those nests those attacks are getting larger even three turrets didn't wipe them out quick enough. Yeah, I'm I'm curious what the what the game demands versus what's optional with infinite technology. But uh, yeah, I think we'll wait a little bit to look at, at the the late game tech tree for now at least. But at least like. Let's look at like going to a planet. Um, Cause you have to re so the planet discovery is a thousand. See, yeah, it doesn't even require yellow or purple. It's only up to blue science, but then it also requires space science. So, so space science only requires blue. So different now. Covarex only requires blue. Wait, wait, wait. Are... Hold on. No, purple science still exists. Okay, okay. 
Purple science is not dead. Neither is yellow. Do we still need yellow for logistics bots? Or not so much? Or I should say requester chests. Requester chests. Oh my god, no. Now you need space science for requester chests. Oh, that's so different. Oh, that's so different. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So we will be going to space sooner rather than later then. It's not like... It's, it's kind of more in the mid to late rather than the late game in terms of old vanilla. Interesting. Uh, what is this? This is a basically dead belt here. Um, okay, so are these automated now? Did we do it? No. I got that one. This one needs plates. And do these stack to 5 or 10? They'll stack to 10. These stack to 50. Okay. We need that many. Do you need anything from other planets for yellow and purple? I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure there's not. All right, what are we going to research now? Yeah, fire rate and damage are kind of some obvious ones. I, I'm just not getting attacked very much. Oh, look at that. They show you the total bonuses, too. That's so cool. So it's saying you're going from plus 10 to plus 20% with this research. That's really neat. Um, I'll probably do steel. I mean, let's just queue stuff up. It doesn't matter. Um circuit network going eventually. Um, maybe another planet before the... But the, I think at that point, you're going to want those other techs to go to another planet. But it technically is possible, I think, to go to these other planets first, because if you want the... I mean, you can go to Gleba on just those packs, according to the tech tree, at least. But we'll see. Hey, Game Detective, thanks for that. Podcasts have certainly been fun to make. And yeah, don't don't you worry. I, we're doing we're doing a 12-hour stream, and then I'm going to get some sleep, and then we're doing another 12-hour stream tomorrow. That's the plan. <laughs> Your plan is to just rush to a new planet as soon as possible. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be doing that. Okay, so why did I break green science? Am I missing a... What's going on? Oh, that guy got destroyed and I never replaced it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it's very clear, Apophenia, to new players that this is going to result in gun turrets dealing ex extra damage. Because it shows the gun turret damage as a single bonus and the bullet damage as a single bonus, but I don't think new players are going to necessarily realize that those are multiplying by each other. Uh, but they will if you hover over a gun turret, though. That is nice. It does show you the the total right there. All right, coffee's all gone. I need to drink some water. Knock things off my desk. Uh, they are not additive, Apophenia. They are multiplicative. So, if they were additive, this would be 5 plus 1. Um, but they're multiplicative, so it's 5 plus 1.05. Because it's 110% times 110% gives you 121% of 5 damage. Which is 6.05. Anyways... I don't know why I put these in my inventory. I'll grab them when I'm good and ready. But yeah, so green science is done. Steel is next. So let's think about a steel smelting array. Um, how much? I think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this patch just so we can not have to think about it later. Um, this is unfortunate. I think what I'm gonna do is this. 
for the, for these little extra pieces, I don't like to have a ton of extra, like like way more miners than I need. Um, so instead, I'll do something like this. And the nice way to about wrapping it around like this is that way it actually prioritizes these ones as a higher priority even, so that it'll mine these out before it mines this part out. So that's nice. Um, <laughs> quick chat, spawn biters. Is research queue on by default? Uh, Fumbler, actually they added that to Vanilla Factorio before the Space Age expansion and before 2.0. That's been in the game for a while now that they made research queue on by default. And the new thing that we can do is reorder stuff. So that's fancy. But yeah, let me get that. Okay, so this is going to be for iron only. So what I want to do for steel is I want to actually go get this patch. We're going to get steel mining over here. And that's going to be a long belt for right now. And it's going to be a long belt of iron ore. Because there's no coal. If there was coal over here, that would be really nice. But there's just not. That coal is almost as far as this coal. It's a little bit closer, but I don't think I want to go. So I'll just bring a full belt of iron over to here. And then we'll make steel with that. And I will need gun turrets and ammo to defend it. Grab... more turrets a lot of ammo that's actually not that much but with the biter numbers that we have it should be pretty good and then a lot of belts oh do I need a thousand belts probably not maybe maybe I do actually uh, power poles let me handcraft some more I kind of want to just automate medium poles right now but We'll, we'll wait until we have this deal. And you know what's going to happen the minute I walk away from the base. I'm going to get attacked somewhere that I didn't put a turret. It's just how these things go. But what can I do? Put turrets everywhere. Wall in the whole base. That's too much work. That's crazy talk. Okay, this actually isn't that far. I had I had trains at home in Pyanodons that were far longer than this. This is nothing. Oh, this patch is so small. I don't love that. You're right. I can turn on turret range and pretty easily see where I'm lacking coverage. Um, have we really not seen? Okay, there's more iron up there. Good. I was going to say, I'm like, if we haven't seen another iron patch yet, that could be problematic because we're going to need another one pretty soon just for ore per second purposes. It looks like that one up there is going to be it. Ooh, how does the map search work? Good question. We'll go check that out here in a minute. Okay, so because this is a dense patch, I'm actually going to start like halfway off the patch to try to maximize. And I am going to do the trick because undergrounds are cheap comparatively. So we're going to get maximized miners on this patch. Oh, I forgot to grab miners. Whoops. Um, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so let's try the map search. So if I wanted to find iron, I could be like, iron, or... And then it's just highlighting it on the map for us. And it, like, so cool. What about, what if I want iron plates? Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. I I do wish you could search for usage though. It only searches creation of that thing. So that that is a little bit of a downside to me. 
Because the factory search mod allows you to search for stuff in chests and to search for where things are being used. And I think that's a pretty big deal. Not being able to see where my gears are being used is kind of a downside. Because it's actually those two views together that you want to compare. Is like, oh, where are my gears being produced? Where are they being used? Maybe I can modify where one factory is versus the other, or where can I combine belts together? Things like that are really nice thoughts you can have when you start to look at the map of those two objects, or those two facets of like where it's being made versus where it's being used. But here we can't see where it's being used. So I will say factory search is probably a mod I will continue to use. Um, I would imagine that's not the kind of thing they're going to add or change at this point in the process. What? Why not? Feedback's feedback, eh? So if I was searching for your wheel... be extremely helpful they probably won't do it but might as well mention it I should blueprint this shouldn't I rather than just kind of wing it every time that would be a good idea good idea Crydex why don't you do that all right so this is kind of what we're copying Throw that in the, the old blueprint book. Okay. Ugh, I missed squeak through. Can't walk anywhere in this game. Do that done. Almost out of power poles. Craft a few more. Those might be the last wooden power poles we ever need to make. And there we go. We just need the rest of the miners. Uh, Sviplet, then the search option would need filters. Well, yeah, you would, it would be a setting. You would set it to, like, usage. Rather than like, it would default to what it's defaulting to now, and then there's a button you could hit somewhere in that view or around that view that would let you search for that. Okay, so we need more miners. Don't forget to put down turrets. Ooh, good point. Good point. Probably should do that. I'll just take them all. Take them all. stored you can get when you get to logistics networks um only if it's stored in the logistics network which is a relevant difference in some cases like for example train stops you know are usually not logistics enabled and you're not going to find those things like that um how did the Death World run go? It was fun. We didn't we didn't finish it, but we kind of got to the I I am become death destroyer of biters position with um, we had the full blue science upgrades. We had laser turrets. We had you know flamethrowers. So I it was kind of that stage where at that point you're kind of just mega basing with more steps. But I didn't actually finish. No. We did have logistics and construction bots, and so we were we were slowly starting to push out a uh, wall plus turret blueprint that was pretty effective. Okay, so that nope, not done. Turrets. Not 
Let's say we were good to go. We are not. Easy way to drop. I guess I can control right click to drop 50 shots. Uh, does this support more than one belt of ore? Uh, yes, it does. But a red belt needs 30, and I'll upgrade this to red pretty soon, so I don't think it's worth... 49 wouldn't even support two red belts, so I don't think it's worth um, doing two belts. If it could support two red belts, it, it might be worth it, but it doesn't. All right, so steel. How do I want to build my steel build? Yeah, exactly. It's 49 now, but it'll go down to 40 in what will feel like minutes, though it might actually be a couple hours. Uh, so how do I want to do steel? Steel is one thing where I've never quite figured out exactly how I like to do it. Sometimes I like to separately do the iron, like do the iron like normal, and then basically just do steel like iron as two fully separate steps, but it feels weird to not do direct insertion. But the problem with direct insertion is then you don't get coal. I really wish you could do coal pass through with steel. That would be nice. You, or can you? Does that exist and I just don't know about it? No, surely someone would have mentioned it in my death world. Um, so the problem with this is then you still need to feed coal somewhere. Filter. Wait, are you serious? No. No, don't tell me. Has this always been a thing? You're making it up. Can't be real. Not that. That. No, that doesn't work. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. Um, or more like good. I haven't been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> wrong. I put wrong in quotes. It wouldn't have been wrong, but it sure would have been nice if cold pass through was a thing. Um, okay, so how do I want to do steel then? So... One option is to have the coal come down here. And then we do something like this. And the coal gets fed in through these guys. And then the long inserters feed the plates over to these guys. The, the upside to that... Then we can have a full belt of iron over here. Far less than a belt of steel coming off. Because the steel is so dense compared to iron, we could combine... Oh god, I'm at an hour and eight minutes in my YouTube recording. Well, we gotta end episode three soon. Uh, but we'll finish planning this. We could combine the steel with the coal, and that would be enough coal to run everything. So another way to do it would be to have the coal and steel on the same belt. Is there a way to make that work? Coal and steel like this, while also having that. I don't think that works. Because if the coal and the steel are on the same belt, then there's no way to feed it the plates with direct insertion. Hmm. So then maybe... Yeah, but if the coal is out here, then it's not feeding coal to this. 
I was hoping to feed coal to both types of furnaces from the coal and steel belt. But then iron... Well, maybe, maybe, hold on. So maybe I do it this way. Coal is here. Steel's here. Coal's only on one side of this belt. And then the iron just wraps around. And the iron's a full belt anyway, so that's not wasting any belt space. Yeah, I like that. Um, that works, and we even have enough room for a power pole here. So that I don't have to do any undergrounds. Okay, so that can be our steel build. Um, wait, no, 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 no. This is wrong. Yeah, iron ore input, exactly. Uh, what am I doing here? These need to be further out. To here. So iron ore can be coming in here. Iron ore. Or maybe iron ore comes in there. We've got coal fed through there. The iron goes on a belt out here. We'll have to do half and half to make a full belt of iron. And then that full belt of iron gets fed into these guys, which then goes back onto that one. Okay. Coal and iron mix. Uh, if I did a coal and iron mix, then I have to do two separate belts to get a full belt of iron. I think this is actually the most efficient possible maybe well I guess I have an extra belt though because I'm not doing direct insertion now and extra inserters so that doesn't end up saving me anything because if I was doing it this way I might as well just do direct insertion and have coal on the outsides of both oh goodness the tangled webs we weave in this game um Okay, let's do direct insertion, just like we were going to. Um, is this better, though? Can I do... Like this? Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh no, but power poles. Now that works. This works. So we can have coal on one, iron on the other, and we just need our 90 degree inserters, and then we can put the coal into these. Um, no, but then we're not getting coal into the steel, but we already proposed we could do that on the outside. That does force the coal and steel to go in the same direction, which might not be ideal, but otherwise this works. Um, like so. That's definitely skinnier than what I had before. Four... There's only nine tiles wide. Am I missing something? I think this gets us a full belt of iron. <laughs> you hate it, good job. That's how I know I did something right. Um, have they added Bob's inserter mechanics? No, they certainly have not, sadly. Um, but yeah, look, we even have enough room right here to fit this in, disconnect power to our entire factory in the process. And I can just copy-paste it however much I want. The problem is steel's gonna come out the bottom. I hate that. Wait, I already have coal on one of the belts. I can wrap that around to provide the coal for the bottom. No, no, never mind, we're good. We're good, we can still do it this way. Okay, so this is gonna be how steel works. It's crazy and amazing. We call it cray -mazing. So coal goes on this belt. Oh, I've really made a made a mess of this area here, haven't I? 
Um, so coal is on... Make the most sense for it to be on the outside. This. The spaghetti begins. Ah, there's too many straight lines to call this spaghetti yet. We'll fit Howler's name over here. In walls. Here in a sec. This is our supplemental iron ore coming from afar. And the iron. Over here. Okay, and then that's all we need, I think. Um, and then at the bottom, basically, we'll wrap around the coal. And we just want the close side, so we'll just do this to feed the coal into the steel smelters. Perfect. And that'll be steel. And then we can siphon off the steel from there. And that can be the third belt in this little stack of stuff. Well, we'll call that, obviously I'll make it bigger, of course, but uh, we'll call that the end of episode three. For those of you on uh, YouTube from the future, thank you for watching as always. If you're here live, stick around. We're gonna be streaming all day, so we're not going anywhere. But for those of you in the future, just a reminder, you can join the Crydania Discord to hang out with us there. You can join live. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, you can head over to patreon.com slash crydax. Get your name in the credits, get a special name in Discord, all sorts of fun stuff. And with that, I will leave you to it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.